What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. It's been about a week just surviving this corona apocalypse. But today we're gonna have some fun. First, so normally I have my keys on me. They're in here. Yep, there they are. They're hiding. Check this out. Something uh we've been modding. We just haven't been filming everything. We gotta mount the parachute mount itself, and then we have to actually order a parachute. Now we won't actually need a parachute for some time. This is basically something I had just laying around and just you know kill some time. But when we're actually going that fast in the future, because that is the direction that this car is heading and you just slap it forward and it will release the chute. It's gonna take some time before we actually go that fast, like I was saying, but you know, it's just something that I wanted to actually uh, go ahead and throw in the car. I think it looks really cool. Big shout out to Motion Raceworks. Super clean, this is how it looks, this is how I've done it. I can't wait to actually use this thing on track. Moving on with the video, I'm gonna get out here and uh, fire this thing up for you because that's what today's video is gonna be all about is installing something that uh, always cutting his grass. Oh, race seats. Ugh. Not a true cold start, but... Ooh, it's twin turbos! Give you a glimpse of something we're working on. This is the parachute mount bar that's going to actually go in the back of the car. I don't know if we want to go ahead and do it this week, but we'll see. We'll see how bored we get with this current apocalypse. But this is a sound tube. I uh, I don't want to spoil everything. Secrets. Stay tuned to the channel. Something interesting, a science experiment that we're working on. Push lock fittings. We may install these this week. I don't know. So then this thing is basically going to fit whenever we install it back somewhere like that. And then we'll have a shoot on the back of the car, which would be pretty, pretty intimidating. Even though it's going to be probably a few months before we're actually turning the car up to go that kind of speed. Honestly, to go 150 mile an hour and a quarter mile takes a lot. Uh, we will get there eventually. I just don't know the time frame. But we want to keep things safe. We want to keep it going. We want to chase times, yes. But uh, a cage is something we are working on too. A lot of you guys have mentioned that in the videos. Now, here's the thing. With the cage, um, for an 850 cert cage, we need something like a 10 point. And what that means is you can have door bars. You're also going to have your halo. So it's going to come down probably through the dash. But I don't no, so that is full race car and arguably unsafe if you do a 10 point on the street because if you get into an accident you're gonna have metal bars here so unless you're wearing a helmet you might bonk your head do we do a cage right now do we just do a six point add to it later on a six point you won't have to worry about that the bars in the back and then you have a door bar come down like this now it will make streetability quite a bit different climbing in and out you know there is a big difference in cost too but an 850 cert cage is eventually going to happen in this car it's going to have to just for our safety uh, along with the shoot and everything else that we're doing just safety first I'm still trying to enjoy this car as a street car uh, no matter what no matter what the modifications are that we ever do to this thing it would always remain a street car I don't want to gut interior I don't want to live in a tin can none of that all right we're gonna dive into today's video doing something back here that's gonna be a little bit uh, interesting so so like I said this is a fun video but um, yes yeah, so shh, turbo whistles <laughs> I'll bring you guys a fun video and install these, see if they actually work. Let's go ahead and test that real quick, though. So we'll use this as a test dummy. We we'll use the CBR 1000. I've had this thing for a year now, so happy birthday. Keys, 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 keys. Let's turn this guy on. Cold start. <laughs> So 
Uh, it works on a motorcycle. It sounds like absolute garbage. But, all right, we're gonna throw this on the Mustang. Remember, this is a big twin turbo car. The sound that these turbos give off on this Mustang is incredible. Um, very audible to the ear, not so much in the cabin, you mostly hear that exhaust, but outside of the car, it sounds amazing. We know what the car sounds like without them. Let's install them, let's go, see if it makes a difference, and have some fun. <laughs> Let's grab that. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, we got cops in the neighborhood. They actually really like the car. I used to have a Hellcat and uh, he loved it. But I don't know how they feel about Mustangs. Probably the same as the rest of the world, you know. Uh, crowd killer. turbo whistle so inside of the car is very uh, boomy very exhaust like you don't hear a lot of that whoosh that comes from outside of the car which sounds really really great it's very loud it's much louder in person than it is on camera so you're always hearing them spool always hearing them I don't know if these little silly things from Amazon these little ten dollar whatever are going to make a difference um, let me know in the comments how you feel about this thing very very ricey I get it but uh, let's give it a shot see what it does we have two of them I almost started to order four <laughs> but we'll deal with two let's just see what it does this car looks so good so clean love these wheels so we have our little 10 millimeter here and let's uh we don't want to scratch up these beautiful exhaust tips so i'm going to snug them down a little bit and just see if they will stay <laughs> i don't think that's going anywhere this one's got the exhaust valve in there since it's got the active exhaust i absolutely love the Corsa, the way it sounds with the turbos. Turbo cars sound different, but with the Corsa, it honestly is like the best sounding exhaust that I've heard on an S550 Mustang. True story. If you guys want discount codes to anything like that, like exhaust systems, parts, all that stuff, please check out the uh, video descriptions. I've got tons, tons of companies that we're working with right now to save you guys some money. What's up? I'm good. Hey, I'll just make sure. Just tell you on the side of the road. So I'm like, okay, I'll make sure. Well, you know, it's a Ford, you know, yeah. Yeah. fix or repair daily. Oh, so, <laughs> no, we're all good, brother. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. Take it. All right. He's probably like, what in the heck is that guy doing? Yeah, we're not, we're not scratching these. I don't want to go too far. I just want to make sure they're not going to come out. Um, those look super. Look at that. That looks so ridiculous. All right, let's get some sound clips. See if it makes any kind of a difference whatsoever. or not i know it's super windy out here but so ridiculous looking that is so silly mustang is right no if you're enjoying this video please drop a thumbs up it helps the channel grow honestly more than you can imagine and subscribing as well but we're gonna do a little bit of a drive see if i can tell a difference inside of the cabin just giving it revs i honestly just giving it revs i could hear nothing the whistles are mounted let's turn everything back on and see if we can hear a difference inside of the cabin, really doubt it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I immediately don't hear a difference at all. You never know, let's get out here and do this. they're working so let's 
let's do a little baby watt hit and uh let's see I think our science experiment is failing. I don't hear anything at all. Cool off for a minute. Let's see if these things are still on there. I bet they fell off. I bet they did. Oh, they're still there. Oh, one, we lost one. It fell off. Oh, we gotta find it. Uh-oh. Dang it. Oh my gosh, where did it go? Let's not lose this one. All right, we gotta go find it. I don't want somebody to run it over. Guys, <laughs> look at this, turbo whistles. This little spot, this is like my spot. And every single time I do, people always stop. They're like, hey man, you all right? I see you're driving a Ford, is it broken? That's gonna be a problem. <laughs> I keep grabbing this thing. I'm gonna start releasing this chute on the highway, but uh, let's find our uh, fancy turbo whistle. I have no idea where it would be. Probably on the side of the road somewhere. I don't really care if I lost it. I just don't want somebody to run it over. I don't see it though. It's probably over there when we're going fast. At least we still have one. So we could just put it on the bike and leave it. <laughs> oh, was that it? So if I don't see it in the road, I think we're going to be good. Because I don't see it on the side of the road. Oh, there it is. Well, I found it. <laughs> Look at it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, it's all banged up. That is seriously broken. Oh wait, no, no, maybe still salvageable. Like, yeah, look at this thing. So it fell off and it got banged up. Let's see if it still works. All right, so we found it. So nobody's gonna hit it. I don't wanna cause an accident or flat tire or something crazy, but that definitely fell off at like 100 mile an hour. I wanna review the footage too, before I end the video myself, come back and see if I can tell you if I've actually determined I can hear a difference or not, but. All right, short little drive. I absolutely love this twin turbo car. Should make a lot of power when we actually put it on the dyno, but I mean, with E85 running through it on gate pressure, which is like seven pounds, I mean, we gotta be kissing 700. But with this nice fancy controller here, I mean, we can turn that up, which is going to like a different preset. Pretty crazy that you could have 800, 900, 1,000 horsepower or, or whatever, like on demand just by pushing a button. Just rolling it up. Baby boost, 7.4, rolling into throttle. That was like quarter throttle right there, just rolling into it. This car is absolutely crazy. All right, guys, that wraps up the video. I reviewed it. I can't tell a difference. I think I wasted my money, but it does work on the motorcycle, so should we leave it on there and just have a little bit of a turbo whistle to the bike? I'm just kidding, totally kidding. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, very important. More mods coming over the next week or so, so get ready. And other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Be safe, have fun, have a great day. <laughs>